Hello everybody. In this video we are going to derive expectation and variance of Poisson distribution. For this we are going to be needing Maclaurin series of e to the x, expectation for discrete random variable, the general formula, and probability mass function of Poisson distribution. Let's begin. Expectation for discrete random variables in general is the summation x times the probability mass function. In our case, our PMF is lambda to the x e to the negative lambda over x factorial. We're going to multiply this with x. x from 0 to infinity, x times lambda to the x e to the negative lambda over x factorial. Now we're going to adjust the lower limit of summation to 1 because 0 makes this whole function 0 and we can take e to the negative lambda out because it has nothing to do with summation there is no x variable here so e to the negative lambda summation x from 1 to infinity and what is left is x times lambda to the x over x factorial now we're going to expand this x factorial a little bit to cancel out x. We know that x factorial can be expanded as x times x minus 1 factorial. So one step expansion is enough for us. Let's continue. So we have e to the negative lambda outside, summation x from 1 to infinity, x times lambda to the x over x times x minus 1 factorial. Now we cancel out this x. Our next step is to make the power of lambda look like x minus 1. So for this we can take one factor of lambda to the front. So what we're going to obtain is lambda e to the negative lambda x from 1 to infinity and we're going to have lambda x minus 1 over x minus 1 factorial. Now we're going to use the fact of Maclaurin series of e to the x but let's make it a little bit look like that more so you will realize that it is actually x to the n over n factorial. So here we can use substitution. We can use n substitution. Let n be x minus 1. Then we can rewrite our summation as lambda e to the negative lambda since we changed so our n to infinity lambda to the n over n factorial and here our n will start from 0 because when x is 1 n will be 0. Now lambda to the n over n factorial here looks like exactly e to the x here instead of lambda we have x so we can express this as actually e to the lambda because in our case we use the variable lambda so this whole summation became e to the lambda now we have lambda times e to the negative lambda times e to the lambda. e to the negative lambda and e to the lambda cancels out each other. It makes e to the 0 which is 1 and 1 times lambda is lambda. So this is the expectation of Poisson distribution. Now we're going to continue to derive variance. Variance by definition in general is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the quantity squared. We have already found the expectation in the previous part which was lambda and if we square it we're going to obtain lambda squared. So we are good for this part. Now we need to find expectation of x squared. If we apply the general formula for expectation of x squared that will be sigma x from 1 to infinity 
x squared times the lambda to the x e to the negative lambda over x factorial however here there is no way to cancel out x squared we can cancel out here the most x one factor of x so here we are going to do different technique we are going to actually find the expectation of x times x minus 1 so expectation of x times x minus 1 will be by the definition of expectation will be x times x minus 1 times the PMF which is lambda to the x e to the negative lambda over x factorial now we are going to expand x factorial a little bit and our summation is starting from 2 because if we start from 1 the whole function will be 0 and if we start from 0 again the whole function will be 0 so we start from 2 to infinity and we can take out e to the negative lambda out again because there is nothing to do with e to the negative lambda e to the negative lambda summation x from 2 to infinity x times x minus 1 lambda to the x x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial so we did expansion one more step to be able to cancel out whole x times x minus 1 now our next step is to make the power of lambda look like x minus 2 for this we need to take two factors of lambda outside which will be lambda squared so lambda squared e to the negative lambda sigma x starting from 2 to infinity and we have lambda x minus 2 on top and we have x minus 2 here this looks like Maclaurin series of e to the x if you do here some y substitution for example let y be x minus 2 then our lower limit of the summation will be y we have to adjust it according to y so we have lambda squared e to the negative lambda outside and we have new lower limit of summation y and when x is 2 y is 0 0 to infinity and we have lambda to the y over y factorial which exactly looks like this that we can express this whole summation as e to the lambda so we're going to obtain lambda squared e to the negative lambda times e to the lambda and this is e to the zero which is one and one times lambda squared is lambda squared so here what we obtained is expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to lambda squared here this means if we distribute expectation of x squared minus x which we can separate because expectation is linear so expectation of x squared minus expectation of x equals to lambda squared now if we solve for expectation of x squared in this equation we can obtain what expectation of x squared is and we found expectation of x which was lambda so expectation of x squared is equal to so it will be x squared plus lambda so now we know that expectation of x squared is lambda squared plus x lambda squared plus lambda now general formula for variance was expectation of x squared minus expectation of x squared so if we rewrite what expectation of x squared is as we found lambda squared plus lambda and we previously found expectation of x was lambda if we square it we're going to obtain lambda squared and in this equation lambda squared cancels lambda squared so we obtain lambda so 
expectation of Poisson distribution random variable was lambda, so was the variance.